Hi everyone, my name is Ifa Bumoyi Woodness Kende from course one, group six, and the topic of my presentation is LD habits and essence for good living. So firstly, a LD habit is any activity or behavior that can benefit you mentally, physically, or emotionally. It's often linked to an high state of self-discipline and control. So my first LD habit is meditation. So meditation is a practice where an individual uses a technique such as mindfulness, train attention and awareness to achieve a mentally and emotionally calm and stable state. It is just like exercise to the body and it can be done for as low as 10 minutes in a day. So this is a graph showing the for age range of four to 11 years and 12 to 17 years. And you can see that 4.7% to 6.5% of kids in this age group in the US actually do participate in meditation. My second habit is eating a good breakfast. Like we all know, breakfast is an important meal of the day. And it's a single most important meal that energizes you for the day. So a breakfast rich in protein will help you to be active physically and alert ment mentally. The first thing to do is to drink water in the morning and it is advised not to skip breakfast because those who do have a higher chance of developing health problems. So it's also a graph showing what some teachers think about breakfast and majority do think that there are numerous benefits of eating breakfast. Nine in 10 teachers point out their ability to concentrate and a better academic performance as advantage. And eight in 10 say breakfast prevents headaches, stomach aches and leads to earlier students. So LD diet, according to WHO, so LD diet helps to protect against malnutrition of all forms and as well as non-communicable diseases such as diabetes, heart disease, stroke, and cancer. Breastfeeding of four of babies actually help with their healthy growth and development and a long-time health benefit such as reducing the risk of them being obese or overweight. Energy intake, known as calories, should be in balance with energy expenditure. That means that the amount of energy we take in should also be equal to the amount of energy we give out. So the total fat should not exceed 30% of total energy intake. Limiting intake of free sugar to less than 5 to 10% of the energy intake is beneficial for the human body. So this is... Um, this is a, a chart for a particular group of students that shows the number of students who actually involved in taking LD food. And, and as you can see, the majority of them actually do eat LD. And good sleep, like we all know, having a good quality sleep helps us to be the best we can be. And according to the National Sleep Foundation, it's recommended that most adults between take between seven to nine hours of sleep every night and older adults take between seven to eight hours. Babies need up to 17 hours per night. While teenage teens need up to eight to 10 hours of sleep. But this definitely depends on your schedule, your activity, your health conditions. You might definitely need more or less to survive. So this is a graph that shows the average sleep time per day, per age and sex for men and women. And something I noticed is that women actually do sleep more than men across this age bracket, probably because they understand the benefits more than men would. And yes, the sleep cycle, there are five stages, this in time between consciousness and the time whereby you actually do fall asleep and it's approximately 90 minutes before the time of consciousness to sleep. So if you want to actually sleep or sleep well, definitely like, 19 minutes to say, okay, I slept well. So reducing stress, yes, reducing stress is very important as an LD habit and sleeping is one important factor that helps reduce stress. Exercise too can also be a powerful stress relief and taking the time to relax every day is also very important. Setting realistic goals and, and expectation also helps to be 
uh, helps to reduce stress. So you can also turn up to therapy. You can go for spa. You can probably nature, music, all these uh, heavy stress management thing, um, activities that you can actually engage in. So in my opinion, healthy habits with scientific backups are generally safe to follow. It is essential to check with your doctor from time to time to see what suits your body, not just once in your life, from time to time. You have to always check because our body system changes and it is advised to avoid or limit bad habits that pose threats to our health. Longevity, that's like living long is not guaranteed, but at least the chances are improved. We should avoid meat and um, activities without scientific backings because those could actually give more harm than good. So important is to stay healthy because your life is valued. And this is also a picture in summarizing everything, consuming whole grains, consuming leafy vegetables, always have breakfast, drink lots of water, say no to junk foods. They, they are never beneficial. Say no to junk food, eat protein, rich food, clean air, good sleep, medical care, low stress, moderate exercise, don't overwork yourself, good food. If you can follow this cycle, I think we definitely will live healthy and live long. Thanks for your attention. Any questions?